as we continue to follow the flow of the water, we're at our next stop, the Flash Mix. Dave, what is going on with the Flash Mix? That's a good question, and I think it's one best suited for our water production facility superintendent, Mrs. Kelly Ulrich. Well, the Flash Mix is where we actually inject our chemicals. This is where the raw water is introduced to the chemicals, is the first phase of the treatment process. And Kelly, what is your official role here at the plant? I am the superintendent. I am responsible for not only the treatment of the water, but the distribution of the water as well to all of our purveyors. That's very interesting because this seems like sort of a niche job. How, did, how exactly did you get into it and, and what do you find most enjoyable about it? Well, I, I actually didn't fully intend on becoming a superintendent at a water treatment facility. Um, my degree was in biology and I just by chance happened to work for a temporary organization and started at the very bottom of pulling weeds and painting pumping plants and then just progressed through the ranks uh, over time. And how long have you been with the agency now? Um, I've been with the agency uh, going on about 12 years. I've actually been in the industry going on about 30 years. So Kelly, when I'm at home, I turn on the faucet and I know that clean water comes out. So I'm not very good at chemistry. Give me a crash course here on what chemicals are being used and how that's treating the water. Well, our pH coming in is uh, approximately eight and a half, and so we have to reduce that down to help our treatment process. So we reduce it down to about 7.2 by the introduction of sulfuric acid. After that, then we introduce our primary coagulant, which is aluminum sulfate. The aluminum sulfate, it actually takes the particulates and coagulates them. It takes them and puts them into small masses and we actually call the little small masses flock. And sometimes we introduce a cationic polymer, which helps strengthen that flock. And it actually makes the flock material larger so that it can settle out in our basins. How long does it take to go through all of that? Our minimum flow um, that we operate is about 14 million gallons a day. And for a molecule of water to start here at the flash mix and get through the treatment plant, at the low flows, it would take about five hours. And at the higher flows, about 50 million gallons a day, it would only take about two hours till the end of the filtration process. And based on the water that is coming in, because you've got water coming from different resources, does that affect a, a great amount of how you treat the water? Yes, right now we're treating groundwater, which is very easy to treat. We don't have to use as much of the primary coagulant, sulfuric acid, the cationic polymer, as well as our primary disinfectant, which is sodium hypochlorite. Those are minimal versus when we're treating water that may come off the California aqueduct, then our treatment chemicals probably double and triple in order for us to meet the standards that we need to meet for the State Department of Public Health. All right, well, Kelly, we're following the flow of the water as we're going through the entire treatment plant. Once it hits this flash mix, what's the next stop? After the chemicals are introduced, it goes into each one of the treatment trains. We have two treatment trains. The next stage is what we call flocculation. At that point, we have flocculators, which are mixers, and they kind of help mix the flock so that it actually, we get this biggest, heaviest flock possible by the time it hits our sedimentation basins, which that's where we like the flock to fall. John, have you ever seen flock fall? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Neither have I. I. I just thought it came from the clouds to my tap. I mean, this is incredible. Well, let's continue with the process and see where it leads us. These are uh, dual media filters that mainly consists of the anthracite, silica sand. Those are the main components. And then a small amount of gravel is used for support. 